Hello everybody, welcome back to HBM Mod. Today, today we're gonna take care of some stuff. Uh, I want to show you all the base real quick. It looks actually pretty cool inside now that I've got the roof done. I made it all from lead because lead's cheap when you got a watch reactor. That's why I like this thing so much. If you want lead deco blocks, get the watch reactor and you'll be able to make the roof of your base look as good as mine. It looks even better on the outside, but I'll show you all that in a second. Let's go ahead and get a different perspective of it, because because it actually looks amazing. Um, if you get up on this level, and you're up here, and you enter this room, this is where it looks the best. In my opinion, this is the best view of it. Because you get the particle accelerator all kind of lit up, and it makes it look more epic. Now, I don't have any of the uh, big expensive reactors running. I just have RBMKs running right now, which is... Eh, pretty okay. But, we gotta go get some lithium. Because I'm gonna need some more lithium. And I've got Feed the Beast chunks installed, so now I can just leave and nothing will be a problem. I basically chunk load the whole thing. Amazing. So basically, it's time for us to leave. Head down to the village. The village is where it's all at, where all the actual um, stuff we're looking for is. I'm gonna try out the Mace Miner today on it and use auto crystallizer on everything. <laughs> I wonder what it's gonna do. Um, well, I know what it's gonna do. It's gonna crystallize anything it can crystallize. Although I don't think Skist is one of those recipes. Um, it's weird because it can't crystallize uranium or tungsten, but it can crystallize rare earth, which is very, very strange. Because it should be able to crystallize uranium and tungsten, and if it can do thorium and Rare Earth, it's, I mean, it's kind of weird that it's not able to do those things, right? Or is, am I just wrong? I'm just probably just wrong. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that village we actually blew up a while ago is uh, directly on top of the Skist. You know that big Skist vein we found? Yeah, it's massive, and it goes directly underneath the village. And it has, in some sections it doesn't have ore, in others it's got all of the ore. We basically just happened to dig into, like, the worst spot, probably. That's probably what happened. Um, but I don't know where my actual new dig hole is, because I have a new dig hole. It's somewhere over on this side of the island, which is, um... Yeah, it's it's fine. Wish it was closer. I mean, but there's, 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 no, there's no, no skiss closer. You can get you skiss where there's no skiss. Um... I think it's over here. I think I just kept going this way, and then eventually I, I hit it. Um, is it is, yes, it is this way. Yeah, it's there. With the lights. That's it. Okay. And this place is actually a wreck. Because we're right on the edge of where the village is. That we nuked with an RBMK. Uh. These stairs. Welcome to Skistville. Holy crap. Oh, you gotta be careful with this. This is some dangerous stuff. Because this is not good at all. This is water. And if you combine water and lithium, you end up with a big explosion. So maybe don't use the crystallizer next to water. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably a reasonable thing to keep in mind. Uh, that we need to be extremely cautious around this water. Because it could evaporate. How the heck is the lithium swimming in the water? Um, yeah, this that's interesting. We'll figure this out. Da, 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 da. Time to mine some of everything. Oh yeah, I love this lithium for free. Hey, another thing you can do with auto crystallizer is if you need for some whatever reason, if you if you need oh no, it doesn't work on rare earth, are you kidding me? That's actually garbage. Wow. I thought it worked on rare earth, but I'm wrong, I think. I don't know. Could be right. Could be I actually think I'm wrong. Doesn't work on tungsten. Doesn't work on rare earth. What the heck are you doing, dude? Come on. You can use auto crystallizer on these to make hardened stone, which usually would cost you, uh, this is dense stone, by the way, but it would usually cost you a lot more 
that like nine pieces of stone to make it. In this case, only costs us one piece of cobblestone, which is um. I mean, hey, I mean, if you need if you need hardened stone for whatever, or whatever the heck that stuff is called, th this is the way to go. Uh, you could actually make it inside the crystallizer as well. It used to be crystallized stone or whatever. I don't remember what it was called. Or actually, it was hardened stone, but now it's dense stone. Um, but in the recipes changed for it. You can actually craft it instead. So once we get done with this, we're going to make a black hole. Because that's what I want to do. Um, it, that's, that's a pretty reasonable thing to do. And yeah, you all agree with me on that being pretty reasonable. Although, I do have to take care of these because I'm trying to keep everything compact. So I need to... Just uh, turn all of these into their crystallized parts. The iron, I'm not going to turn into the crystallized parts. So, the reason I don't turn iron into crystallized parts is because with iron, you don't need to crystallize it to get the most out of it. It's mainly for making steel. That's what it's used for. Once you have cold coke, a lot of it, and you have um, iron ore, you're able to make like three ingots worth of steel from that which is amazing the best way of getting steel of course it's becoming it's gonna become even more important to make steel or to actually mine for iron ore uh, now that um, the actual bedrock ore system has changed because now you cannot just get bedrock ore chunks out of the ground you actually are gonna have to do the mining for the bedrock ore chunks or actually the iron chunks yourself um, because there won't be any iron chunks coming out of the ground that you can just turn straight into steel. Which is, yeah, it's a bit of an issue. That means that any bedrock ore setup that makes steel is probably going to end up being the actual upgrading design. Which is, um, what is the upgrading design? Well, we've never actually built the upgrading design. Except for a long, long time ago. Which, which is kind of, kind of ridiculous. I mean... You'd think we would use it more, but no. No, it's actually just the worst way of making steel is to upgrade it. It costs so much more carbon for the amount of steel you're using. Or the amount of iron you're using. So it costs like... I think it's like a one-to-one -one ratio of carbon to iron. I'm not sure about that. So don't quote me on it. But it's about one-to-one. -one. But that doesn't mean it's good. Because one-to-three with the iron ore... It's better than one to one with the other method. So there is that. One of the most peaceful parts of HBM mod is just mining lithium out of the ground for your fusion reactor. I mean, usually you wouldn't even have to do this. Most people just go with the helium setup um, or maybe use the ionized particles and convert them. The helium setup I'm talking about right now is not helium 4, but helium 3. The difference between 4 and 3 is that 4 you can get easy, and 3 requires a spaceship, which is a bit of a problem when you don't want to make a spaceship right now, because it's not HTR carrier rocket. Um, why is HTR carrier rocket? It's just the best rocket of all time, dude. HTR carrier rocket... Always beats that inferior Soviet engineer, clearly. I, unless HTR um, carrier rocket is made from China, then it probably isn't. It's like the difference between T-34 and Abrams tank. T-34 loses every time. Uh, but, but, tank versus man. Tank loses every time. Tank is not gonna beat man. Tank, tanks are not good. Tanks are garbage. A better question, though, is what would win, a shark or a tank? Because we all know sharks are actually terrifying. Um, not really. I've never seen a shark, but I've heard they're pretty big. And things that are big in the ocean kind of seem a little scary. Um, to some degree. But, a tank is also pretty big. Um, uh, bigger than you might think. So, maybe... Maybe the tank would beat the shark. Um, actually, the tank definitely would beat the shark because the second the tank fires its main cannon, the main cannon is just going to pierce straight through the shark, even if it's, like, lengthwise. I mean, 
They're, the shark can stand no chance against the tank, but would the shark be able to beat um a golf cart? Yeah, actually, probably a golf cart. Uh, well, uh, would a shark be able to beat a giant squid? <laughs> Maybe not, because giant squid are actually pretty good at fighting. I've heard. I mean, giant squids, they sometimes can fight boats. Whereas a shark, a shark would stand no chance against a boat. It'd probably get destructified. I mean, because 90% of boats have guns on them. So, I mean, uh, well, if they don't have, if it's a boat with no guns, then it's a boat that's not going to win. The shark would win that time, because it's probably really tiny. <laughs> really tiny boat with no guns, gonna lose against a shark. Better yet, shark versus alligator. You know why? Why that's better? Because alligators are freshwater, usually, from what I understand. Uh, but they're also reptiles, which means they can go on land to avoid the shark. And then, if they lured the shark into fresh water, which most sharks are salt water, then the basically... Bad stuff will happen to the shark because of how that works. Um, it's hard to explain. I'm not even gonna try. But it has to do with how like the the saltwater fish uh, chemistry, you know what I mean, uh, versus freshwater fish chemistry. Uh, how does that work? Well, um, basically, uh, salt likes to move to water, and so in I'm not even I don't remember how exactly that works, but uh, yeah, you can figure it out from there. I'm sure. Oh, you thought this was an actual ep- No, this is a mining episode, dude. But, um, I'm glad we're having some fun while we do some of this mining. Because I need to do some mining for lithium. Which is lithium. <laughs> oh, it's almost as good as polonium. Uh, but no, not really. Actually, polonium is used by KGB, right? <laughs> polonium. Mmm. You know why it's called polonium? It's because they put it in drinks and stuff to poison people. It's actually interesting that I've... I don't know if it's actually true, but I've heard that giant squid do attack boats. It's actually interesting. That'd be cool to see. I mean, not cool to be on the boat, probably not. But it'd be pretty cool to see a giant squid attacking a boat. And actually, giant squid are massive. Um... Yeah, if you want to know how massive they are, just look at the size of the the eye. It's it, that's that's what tells you how massive it is. Cause that that's the weird part is like looking at the eye of a giant squid just makes you feel weird. Cause it's so massive, it's huge. Crap! I almost stepped in that. <laughs> almost stepped in the water, dude, and caused a massive explosion, a lithium mine explosion, dude. It's because the water, maybe if there wasn't so much water, the lithium mine wouldn't explode. Okay, huh, probably not, probably would be less likely to explode, okay, but still explode, okay. So like some sections of the skiss now don't have ore where others do. It's weird, but I think that's a good change. That's actually necessary because before it was really over ridiculously powerful and um, that was an issue. Now it's not, and that's actually pretty, pretty balanced, I would say. Uh, that it's a nice spread of having ore and not having ore. Some sections do, others don't, and it's pretty good. Although I don't actually think it's changed at all. I don't actually know if it's changed. It seems like it might just be less ore, or that ore spawns in a different way inside of these now. Which I feel like is a good change if it is spawning differently inside of these, because of how it feels. The main reason I think this is because this bottom section, this lower level, is actually just no ore at all. It's pretty good. Because I can just get lithium out of this section, and I don't gotta worry about any iron ore getting in the way of getting crystallized. Because I, I don't want to crystallize iron ore. Iron ore is not something I'm trying to crystallize. We've already discussed why. Uh, it's just an issue. If I do crystallize it on accident, it's a little bit okay, but still a little bit not fun. Um... Kind of annoying these pickaxes when they mine so fast, but uh, you get used to it after a while. I mean, I wish I could mine 600 cubic meters in 5 seconds in real life. That would be amazing. I would be the king of mining. Not even not even one of those, uh, what are they called? Wheelbagger machines could keep up. 
So here's something for you. If you're interested in the actual, in actual real world mining techniques for like strip mining and stuff, then let me tell you about this wonderful machine. Uh, it's massive. It walks, right? It's the only machine that actually needs to walk, it, but it's huge. Um, this thing is massive. I don't remember what it's called. It's the thing. I don't remember where, whether it was a bagger. It was not a bagger. That's a different thing. Um, oh, it's oh, I know what it's called. It's 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 called like a power bucket or something. Something with bucket in the name. Oh, let me think. Yeah, it's uh, I don't even know, but it's it's basically got a massive bucket. It's it's this is the biggest mining machine I've ever seen. It it uses. Uh, a very interesting method to walk because of how big it is. It needs to walk. <laughs> it's it's so big that walking is actually practical for it. While also being e extremely power consuming because, I mean, with a big mining machine like that. <laughs> but anyway, th these things are so large, they got a massive crane boom. They've got, like, the ability to, like... Well, that's what, that's the main way they mine is they use this big crane boom on them. And uh, these these are old machines. You don't you won't see these anymore. I don't think you will. I don't remember what they're called, but they're massive. And if you look them up, um, yeah, you'll probably be interested in those because they're very cool. I I think they're very cool at least to look at to see them operating to see them actually move is very impressive because that is one big machine. How the heck? Is this thing moving on legs? Uh, well, it's not really legs, but it's legs. It's essentially legs. It's one of the few legged machines that is actually practical. There is no other actual practical legged machine, except for maybe a robot. But it's because they're tiny and their legs make sense because people try to build robots like humans. Which is weird. Um, not sure why you'd want to do that because that's kind of terrifying, but, um, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be enough lithium, in it? No, it isn't. Never. Never say you got enough lithium. Because you don't. Yarr, arr, arr. Um, that is not how that works, but, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe sh you should go pillage some more ships. Uh, get more lithium that way. It's easier than going to Skist Valley. Uh, HBM, can I blow up the sun? Can we get a weapon that allows us to blow up the sun? Please give us a weapon to blow up the sun. Why? D don't ask why. These are not important questions. I just want to be able to blow up the sun because it's funny. Or to turn the sun into a massive super weapon that ends the world. Oh, that'd be pretty interesting. It'd be like Endgame. It'd be way beyond Geralt. Geralt would have nothing on the sun. Turning the sun into a supernova and destructifying the entire existence of the Minstraft world. Without sunlight, none of the plants will grow. The planet will get very cold. Amazing. <laughs> and, and, bef to actually destroy the sun, it'd melt the planet. <laughs> the, the sun would go supernova or something. Or maybe you could collapse the sun itself into like a black hole. And then it sucks the entire planet in. Actually, just speeds up the day-night cycle or something. Except there is no day. It's only night. Oh. Terrifying. And during the day, it's just a giant black hole. That'd actually be awesome. But, uh, not even sure how the heck that would even be possible. Um. <laughs> or turn the sun into a digamma sun. You know the digamma star actually gets bigger if you get more DRX or whatever it is. Um, because that is the red star in the sky. And no, not the red star. Not, 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 no, not... Not anything communist, okay? It's not got anything to do with communism. It's got to do with the red star in the HBM mod sky box. Lithium. 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 This episode's been pretty good, hasn't it? We've been talking about sharks killing alligators with laser beams and stuff. That's pretty normal. Am I right? Oh my gosh. I gotta mine all of this lithium, though. So if you want to mine one block at a time, you just gotta get it exactly... On the right spot. After I finish this, I will go play Super Symmetry. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna play Super Symmetry again. Dude, we're not even gonna finish this, dude. We are not. I actually. 
We are getting pretty close to finishing it, but I won't have time to play Super Symmetry. Um, maybe just the... I like the early game in Super Symmetry. That's pretty fun. Also, the mid game... Well, actually, the entire Super Symmetry is pretty fun, but I have nostalgia for the early game. That was very amazing. Um, when I first played it, I had no idea what I was doing because I was an idiot. But, but that's the fun part, is that you think about the times that you had that where you were an idiot, and then you remember... Oh my gosh, I got I want to do that again. Those were the days. Those those were uh well, I mean, I guess they were the days, but um not really the days. Schistium. Lithium tetrachloride. That sounds terrifying and like it's made up. I just made it up on the spot. Do you believe that? That's crazy. Okay. Give me that garbage and let's go ahead and Skedaddle!